have a thumbs up, drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Roboducks launch their preload right as the match begins. They're going to cross out of their community and then back onto that charge station while their alliance partners pick up the cubes that they have placed in front of their community zone. That one cube remains for the blue alliance, and it is going to end autonomous in the manipulator of Krypton Cougars as drivers step forward in control here. One point advantage in favor of the red alliance as Teleop kicks off 59 to 53 so far in this match. Robots are moving remarkably quickly across this field. Roboducks in blue, they are that short, fast robot able to swerve incredibly quickly. They just drop off those cubes once they enter their community. As long as they have passed on through, they can launch it. And it looks like some of them are getting lucky. Some of them are going to be waiting for a nudge from one of their alliance partners, Krypton or Killer Bees. Krypton Cougars with a cone. They're going to do a little bit of a more high fidelity motion for the Blue Alliance, placing that up top and completing the second link for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance already has three links for themselves. Crusaders placing another cone on the outer grid. Their Alliance partner Strike Force with a cone as well. The cooperation grid does have plenty of game pieces for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance now also has their cooperation grid filled with quite a few game pieces. We will see that threshold on the board now. Five links required for the sustainability bonus. Red Alliance has just achieved their fifth link with one minute remaining in the match. That is tons of time. We just saw Crusaders drop off the sixth link. Strike Force working on the seventh. Blue Alliance Grid also getting awfully full. We have plenty of links active. A cone coming from Killer Bees is going to fill in that cooperation grid. Killer Bees do choose to readjust. 30 seconds left. They're going to try to drop off that cone. Their partner right behind them. It looks like two game pieces shy for the Blue Alliance. Down to one game piece shy. Krypton Cougars have that final game piece. As long as they are all legally scored, the Blue Alliance very close to a full grid. Over on red, they're going to be at least two game pieces shy. They prioritize docking and engaging while the Blue Alliance did hit all nine links, a completely full grid. Three robots docked and engaged. We see at least one, maybe two supercharged nodes for this blue alliance in qualification match number 49. The winner of that match, give it up for the blue alliance. 198 points to 188. That final link right there at the end and the supercharged node bonus gave it to the Blue Alliance. Four ranking points for blue, two for red.